watu wangu mshaba Marekani kuna mtu aliuliza bills za kuona gari Marekani so uh, tupitie pitie so kama ume, umeona gari umeinunua na na lease au jenunua na cash so tume tuseme umeinunua gari around 1.9 million za Kenya to 2.5 million alafu sasa unajua wanakufinance uh, so utakuwa unalipia for the next almost 5 years every month unalipia so on average utakuwa unalipia kitu 4 400 to 450 dollars hizo ni 40000 za Kenya so hizo ni 40000 zimeenda kando na hiyo kulipia inalingana na ile down payment tuliweka at the same time inalingana na na credit yako na ile interest rate walikupatia uh, unaweza extend terms za kulipa hiyo tuseme unaweza toka 36 months wende 48 months lakini ujue hiyo itakuwa more expensive sababu the more una, una extend the more interest utaend up kulipa and the goal ni kulipa hiyo gari haraka so 400 kutoka 350 to 400 dollars hiyo utakuwa unalipia hiyo gari every month kama umefinance so lakini kama uliba hiyo gari cash hakuna kitu nalipia financing so hiyo 400 ama 300 you put it back in your pocket lakini na understand watu wengi mtapata a new vehicles mtataka kufinanciwa uh, so 400 weka kando so the other one ni gari utahitaji gas uh, uh, inaligana gas inaligana ni how far una drive na how often so kuna mtu tuseme au utakuwa tu unaenda kazi uh, kama ni mtu naenda kazi gas size si baya sana so na pia inaligana na gari yenye umechukua sababu gari zingine they are very expensive kuja za gas kazi magari kubwa kubwa ya SUV hizo ma truck unaona ngawa nazo kubwa kubwa ni magazlas alafu kama uko na foreign car akina Mercedes Benz akina BMW hizo zinakuanga magazlas so zinakunywa zinakunywa gas sana so uh, but on average ukikuwa na kagari kako na MPG poa let's say umenunua ka Toyota Prius ka Toyota Prius unaweza jaza na, na 30 dollars uh, na hiyo itakusukuma almost two weeks hivi ama, ama kama unaenda tu kazini na kurudi uh, nyumbani sababu that's the other benefit ya kwenda kazini unaenda kazini unapark gari then jioni ukitokezea you drive back home so unaona kama una errands mingi so hiyo budget could spend at least 200 dollars a month Ah uh, tuseme 30 dollars itakupeleka a week. Si unaona kama mwezi kwa na wiki nne hivi unaona hiyo hiyo ni kitu 150 to 200 dollars. Lakini to be on the good side budget kitu 300 dollars. So hiyo hiyo ikiweka kado utajua gari utalemewa kwenda mahali itakuwa na gas. So 300 dollars hizo ni 30,000 za, za Marekani. So uh, 30,000 Uh, I mean 30000 za mtaani uh, kuweka gas alafu tuko na kulipia kulipia tunalipia kitu 400 so sasa hizo tuko uh, of which is 40000 so 400 plus 300 tuko kitu 700 dollars ama 70000 70, now hii gari uh, utahitaji kuifanya nini uh, kuipatia insurance so most of the gari kama ziko uko financed na uh, unalipia kila mwezi wanaweza kufanya nini wanataka ukuwe na full coverage ama comprehensive yenye ina cover everything kama umebonda mse wanakukava kama mtu amekubonda ameku they can still help you out so wanataka ukuwe na insurance so na wanataka comprehensive ama hiyo full full coverage so hiyo expect to spend kitu 150 to 200 dollars ah uh, Oh weko sababu nakuja ukiwa mpya Marekani insurance yako itakuwa haya uh, sababu wanaibase na how old uko at the same time when did you get your first driver's license so naelewa wengi wenu driver's license yenu itakuwa ya kwanza mnapata Marekani that is the reality uh, afu inaligana ukikuja ukiwa young the younger you are unakuwa more risk unakuwa more risk sababu uko more prone to kuendesha gari kama mweda wazimu so insurance wanaeka ikiwa haya uh, pia wanaangalia hiyo experience ukiwa mwiyang saa zingine you might not be able to react to situation sababu una hiyo experience ya ku drive so insurance yako itakuwa a little bit higher so wacha tuweke tu 200 dollars ama 20000 za Kenya so size tuko 90 90k 
uh, yon cost ya gari tuko 90k uh, kila mwezi ama 900 dollars now gari na za haribika okay uh, but before to say gari ya haribike kuna oil change so the first thing ni ni oil change gari uta, utakuanga unaifanya oil change kuligana na venye una drive okay but at least una, 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 you want to do your oil change every 3000 miles okay so to say mem uh, per day unaendesha 20 20 miles sindio na to say uko active the whole week that's it per day unaendesha 20 miles so uh ukisema 20 miles every day in a whole month utakuwa umeendesha 20 times that utakuwa umeendesha kitu 600 miles sindio so uh, na unataka kufanya oil change every 6000 miles I mean 3,000 miles. So to say me, iyo utakuwa me average, let's say kila mwezi uh, 600, 600 uh, miles, but to say me, you will go to, to kuongeze kama nne. Okay? Uh, 400, 400 miles. So ndi utufikisha at least 1,000 miles uh, poor. Sababu average gari ya marekani watu, watu wana edeshaga 15,000 miles a year. So to kieka 15,000 miles, Iyo tu to a thousand miles at least to go to go within that average. So a thousand miles a month. So in three months to come chapa almost three thousand miles. So una is a chapa gari oil change uh within those three months. Sababu so kiona oil change ukienda come in oil change na lipanga kit one fourteen, sa zingira na kupati a discount, uh na kuna lingana pia na gari 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 enye una indesha. But on average oil change uta uta pata one fifty. So unaona kama unaenda every 3000 miles which is every 3 months 150 kid divided by 3 unaona at least every month una spend kitu 50 dollars uh, kufanya oil change so hiyo ime, imetuweka kitu 950 kila mwezi now uh, tumalizie na maintenance ya gari not only oil change within kulingana na gari yenye umechukua within that whole month gari inaweza ku imehitaji tire mpya Maybe you lipitia mali, na ikadungwa na msumari, na you need a whole new tire. Huh? Tire moja, kupata tire list, ina, me, ina make sense. Tire poa, uh, mikitu a hundred, a hundred, a hundred dollars. So, tuseme, maybe tire moja, itaribika a month, ama itaribika. Uh, maybe unaeza ikona itaji windshield wipers zingine, unaeza itaji kona topi, utopi wa fuel, unaeza kwa maybe unaitaji brake zako, or... Uh, Brake zako za gari, brake pads imeisha, uh, uneza kuwa unaitaji una alignment, uneza kuwa unaitaji suspension yako inaribika. So at least utaeka kitu uh, just for the emergency. Anything ikienda wrong na gari, uweke at least 500. Okay? So 500 za, 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 za hizo, hizo mani unplanned maintenance. So na tulikuwa tumefika pale 950 hivi so at least kila mwezi uh, at least eka elfu moja maintenance ya gari now kuna ile registration uh, ku register gari but sasa hiyo sio monthly uh, kulingana na, na mwaka ya gari na which state uko kuna very many ways they do registration so tuseme unaweza fanya registration ya mwaka moja uh, u register gari because you have to register every year uh, na upe uto tu tabs kwa number plate kuna tu tabs tumiandikwa kameandikwa uh, plate zako alafu wako katab ni kadogo kameandikwa date uh, date uh, na mwaka ya expiry ya hizo tabs afuka kwa na different color so unakastik kwa number plate na hiyo inaonyesha na anybody can tell you gari ko registered uh, <clears throat> na iko ready for barabara for that one year so kama ina expire 20 kitu 2020 20, Let's say 2023. So kama ina expire 2023, uh, itako imeandikwa maybe September 2023. Uh, kama ina expire 2024, umechukua ya two years, uh, kutoka, let's say uli register last year. Uh, ukechukua tabs, ukalipa more for two years, sababu, wako mtu mtu busy, utaki kushinda every year ndi una renew. Uh, itako imeandikwa 2024 September. So, hiyo utaiweka kando. So, now, uh, but registration na ikuangi expensive. So, tuseme utaspenda, uh, uki, uki, 
kupata hiyo tu tabs, ku register, maybe da kukos kitu 60 dollars in one year. So hiyo sio mingi but tutaiongeza hapo. So at least kila mwezi, at least elfu moja, ukizidisha sana 1200 sababu unaona hiyo 500 ya vitu zenye uja plan sababu unaenda mahali unaenda mahali tena maybe ubondwe ama whatever but tuna hope everything in a run smooth but at least una uko na hiyo 1200 iko budgeted ama 120000 za za ku maintain hiyo gari so those are the costs so na unaona as we speak venye niliwaambia marekani kila kitu unalipia so you see all these these small costs ndio zina adapt na ndio tuliogea uh, kuhusu pesa you can make a lot of money marekani uh, and there is money but now the money is going places unaona sasa gari alone ishachukua almost a whole week paycheck sababu hautasema utaeka gari gas utatembea mgu na unaenda almost kutoka Nairobi hadi na huko KU good luck uh, basi yeah, unaweza sema utachukua basi but sometimes kuna hiyo convenience gari yako maybe basi itakuchelewesha huh? maybe unahitaji kupitia ununue groceries ukienda ukienda home hautabeba bana na ma groceries kwa gari so unaona lazima utaweka gas lazima utaifanyia oil change ndio hiyo life ya gari yako ikwe kwa maintain um, otherwise usipofanyia gari oil change uh, haitakulast lazima ulipe insurance that one you cannot escape sababu ukisimamisha na polisi unataka kuwa na insurance uh lazima ulipie kama ujaion ulipie every month otherwise uh what happens uspolipie hiyo gari wanazanga kuku threaten then the next thing sababu squeeze wanaweza track gari mahali ziko because utakuwa umewapa address kwenye gari ko registers wana assume you gonna be parking it there so uspolipia na mmeongea nao they can come and, and repossess the car and now aki repossess the car it goes to your credit uh, history and now watu wakiangalia wanaona kuna gari ilikuwa repossess so hata ukienda kwa dealership wanaweza kuwa hawataki kukufinance so you have to pay for that so those are the bills uh, ziko associated na gari uh, it's an expense uh, there are people who wamedua we na gari uh, yeah ukikuja huku siato but every situation is not the same sikizani hivyo every situation ya mtu sio same na mwingine sababu uh, let's take one person wewe wewe sema unaishi siato ama unaishi takoma ama wapi wapi whatever state tunaishi ama place now uko na watoi you need to drive ama hata una watoi you need to drive here kazi yako iko mbali you need to take groceries unaishi kwa apartment you see easy vitu zote ziko in different places you gonna need a vehicle because hautakuwa na panda basi unaenda grocery ile tena unatoka basi na magroceries unaenda ingine tena utafute kwa kuweka hizo magroceries before ingeduka ingine kama unataka kununua but ukiona gari unaweza ziweka huko kwa trunk then you you, you park ingeduka ingine utoke hiyo uenda ingine very easy si ndio unaweza enda hata drive through uoda kitu ya kukula and you go on your own way sasa kama una gari mtu wangu uwezi tembea kwa drive through uoda so that situation is different now there is another person a student kana somea tuseme uh, central yato college college iko within hiyo place ya downtown so this student ye ni mwanafunzi uh, maybe atapata ka gig ama ka kazi hapo karibu na shule ka grocery store uh, grocery store iko walking distance shule iko walking distance kuna restaurant alafu ame find ka apartment hapo hu mtu ahitaji gari na transportation ni kopoa uh, within the, the, the downtown area they do not need a car alafu parking downtown is very expensive by the way that's another thing uongeze kwa gari there are some places ukipa, uki, ukiwa kwa apartment kwenye unaishi they charge you for parking wakora otherwise inafaa kuwa free some states parking is free so other states zingine ukienda kama unaenda una, una, unaenda tuseme umeenda ku visit alafu umebook hoteli wana ku charge ku park kwa hoteli yenye umelipia kuishi wakora na hii na happening kama huko Washington state but some other states na huko southern states na midwest states no it's free unaenda na pagari yako sababu ni common sense unaenda kwa hiyo hotel is the same way kama unaenda kukula kwa restaurant like mbona wakuchaji kupaka hapo naenda kukula kwa hiyo restaurant so you pay for parking afu ingi 
uko restaurant ulipia alafu they, they expect you kuacha tip hiyo itawa watu watakuwa na kuje hiyo restaurant they expect to have free parking so no no msana is downtown they going to need to pay parking sababu there are so many people on Ishuko and it's a business parking parking is a business in in Marekani so those are the costs that were associated na 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 gari kuona gari Marekani uh, ule mse ule kwamba uliza hiyo swali i hope nimekujibu so you plan that utakuwa na ku cost almost 100k za mtaani every month kuoni okay so mara nyingine watu wangu ni mshaba marekani Tutaogea eh?